Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in John chapter 10, verse 9, and it goes like this. I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastures. This morning, uh, as I let little Lucy out this morning, out of her room, uh, just like every other day, she comes out excited. Her little tail is just a going and uh, she is <laughs> ready for the day. And uh, I got to thinking about that. You know, we, although not looking forward to death, although the Bible tells us that the Lord has taken the sting out of death, you know, we have, we should have no fear whatsoever about death. Because it's appointed unto man wants to die. So we all will die. Not unless the Lord comes back before. But little Lucy, when I open that door, that tail is a going. And she's excited. And, uh, you know, it's, we should be the same way. The, the fear of death is gone from me. In fact, I'm looking forward to the day when I take my last breath so I can be in God's presence. And there, you know, once we get there, joy will never end. It's eternal happiness. And uh, there's an old familiar song, what a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see, when I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, and he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land. What a day, glorious day that's going to be. You know, it is going to be a wonderful, glorious day, but unfortunately there are quite a few uh, people that call themselves Christians that are really afraid of death. They're scared to death to die. And with if you're a, a child of God, there is no fear. There, you should not have any reservations, any fear whatsoever about what's beyond death's door. You should be excited when that death door cracks open just a little bit, just as excited as Lucy. It's a new dawning. It's a new world. It's a new you. Because the Bible tells us we'll have a glorified body. Now, in the Word of God, if you would read it, you will learn that there is no fear in heaven. Uh, God has prepared it for his children. And so it's going to be happiness and joyful forever and ever and ever. And I hope that you have made your reservations, that you've asked the Lord to come into your life, that you've given your life to him so that you can also join me in heaven. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.